Okay, today I'm running the actual test. Uh, the water is starting to boil, hopefully. It's kind of cold. And I have the activated carbon here. And this is my heater. So I'm going to connect it to my uh, power supply here. That will give me enough amps to heat the activated carbon and I'll have a temperature sensor on the outside to measure how much temperature is because we don't want to overheat the activated carbon so I'll wait for the vacuum to really go down to a point where we have actual boiling of the water right now the oxygen is coming out so I'll stop the video now and uh, will continue when I have enough vacuum. Everything is set. I have put balloons in all these places because balloons are giving me a better seal than anything else. Uh, they really seal it off. Okay. And like I'm not getting I'm getting very little air coming out but still there is air I can I can feel that there is air coming out so we'll wait for all the air to come out okay I'm doing a check here see I, I closed this valve off to check whether I have uh, any leak here in this one any leak in in this part and apparently there is some leak here maybe because of the wires coming out here so I'm getting better boiling now when I close off this valve so I guess there is some kind of leak here so I have to figure out some way to seal off these openings here so I have to think about this but I'm getting better boiling here in the water so it, it shows that there is a difference happening so this there is something here some problem here Okay, the, this has stopped uh, boiling, <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of crazy, and I put more Teflon tape here to seal this part off, now, I suspect that there is a problem here. Because there is a lot of air coming out from the compressor, so it means that there is some kind of leak somewhere I don't think that the leak, the leak is here definitely not here not here it's and the best thing for me is to start try to put some silicone on this and see how it goes so we have some silicone Seal it off. Okay, so we just put some silicone and see what happens. If there was a leak, it would have pulled the silicon in, 
but it doesn't look like it's pulling anything in so maybe that leak is not here but anyhow I'll uh, put the silicone and see how it goes when I do get this water boiling then I'll get a vacuum gauge to check first I have to finish all the sealing to not get any air out okay so here we are closing this off This is a heat resistant silicon, so when this thing heats up, it's not going to affect the silicon. Of course later it's better that I get a good uh, vacuum pump as a really strong vacuum pump because vacuum is just uh, one time thing so when we get enough vacuum we close the system and the vacuum is there it's not going to come out so now I'm doing just a proof of concept so I don't need the big uh, vacuum pump right now I can do it with the compressor so it's 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 enough for now I'll just wait and see how it goes if I get boiling here then it means that we have reached a good stage Let's see not that cold it's cold but it's not that cold it's just usual cold okay. this has activated carbon with and the heater is embedded into this steel mesh which will distribute the heat to all the activated carbon here and I put some on the top here as a filter so that the activated carbon will be pulled will not be pulled by the suction from the vacuum so they'll stay in place because if if I don't put this all the activated carbon will be sucked into the 
compressor. Okay, we have to just we just have to wait and see how it goes. I want to warm this up a little bit. Maybe I'll use something to warm this up a little bit. Okay, and we'll get back.